a little bit dizzy, but it was an awesome day. Give me a few hours, I'm going to cap up this day. Halfway to late, tomorrow hopefully will be late. switch bikes I'm with I'm with the beast the Harley beast I'll be riding this a little cold start One thing about, I noticed over here, everywhere you see is English wine. Like, do, is English wine any, any good? Like, why is it not Italian wine or French wine? Every, everywhere over here is just English wine. Day two, since I was able, I pushed yesterday, I was able to make, make it all the way over to Manali, where I'm at right now, uh, in one day. My buddy was, uh, we were supposed to meet up here today, afternoon. So I have pretty much a free day over here. I'll call it my chill day where I relax. My daughter woke me up four o'clock in the morning. She calls me with the most important things, obviously on earth, like how to do something on the computer. So I had to help her. I'm, I'm up since four o'clock in the morning. So I said, you know what? I'll go out and uh, grab an early breakfast. Well, it's now eight o'clock in the morning. There's nobody at the hotel. Everything is closed. I said, okay, They're, uh, they sleep in, these guys over here. So I walk around town. I said, I'll go to the bakery. They got a German baker of you over here. I'll grab a croissant or grab some kind of pastry. Guess what? The baker that's supposed to be up early is still sleeping. All the shops here are closed. It's eight o'clock in the morning, literally. Unbelievable. Not unbelievable, they have their own pace. I think there's something nice about it. Really chill, really chill life. No pressure, wake up whenever, enjoy life, I guess. So different from our, you know, lifestyle, the rat race we're in. I'm still hungry. We don't want to wake anybody up. Oh, look, that's open. early morning early eight o'clock but for them it's early morning walk in the village in the town is really cool it's obviously a inn hotel the hotel has its own little guard door Nice and fluffy. Yes, you are nice and fluffy. Boy, yeah. Have ticks all over you? No, you don't. You're sweet. Bye. I'm going to. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, yeah. He's like he wants more. <laughs> I stand corrected. I do see pe pe people walking around 8 o'clock in the morning. It looks like they're going to work. Shops all closed 8 o'clock in the morning. You see, I do see people walking. And I was almost run over by the school bus. Now I understand what this is all about. had that on my bike and I didn't understand what it's for. Now I see it's for extra gas. Interesting in India, everything is very functional. Extremely functional. You see something, you try to figure out what it's, what is its purpose because 
very functional society. Everything is created and built to work, to last, and for easy maintenance. By the way, that's why the Himalayan, the Royal Enfield brand is so popular, so good over here. It's just like built, built like a bullet, built like a gun before the village town wakes up. High voltage power lines. Transformers in the middle of the street. Have a little walk in this beautiful weather today. How about that repair shop? I just heard my buddy roll in with the sports there. It's a different, bit different sound. Let me see if I'm right. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Look at that sportster. Hey. Why, 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 why? Look at you. Look at you. Oh my God. Yo. How? Wow. Through water passages and stuff like that? So many. Oh my God. So many with boulders like that. Oh my God. I have some. Footage. When I came back, from, when I came from Chandigarh over here, yeah. the highway was full with uh, boulders yeah, and everything. Yeah. Unbelievable. No, but this is like boulders in the water. But how'd you do it? You, you didn't stand on the pegs. No. No, you. You just go, you know. Oh my you God, you're go. crazy. I fall on one. One vehicle got stuck <laughs> in the middle, so I wanted to overtake him. I fall on him. My exhaust here was with the boulder. I couldn't move. Yeah. You know? Oh my God. Luckily, that's one crazy. Uh, local boy. Okay, move the stone and I could continue. Oh my god. <laughs> if I would have a camera today, it was on reef. Ah, that's cool. What a beast. It's almost 100,000 kilometers. 65,000 miles. Good morning. 5 a.m. woke up. Early, early morning. Got an early start today. First day of uh, going to higher elevation. Early morning walk just before we hit the road. Got up really early. I got up five o'clock. Same story today. Woke up early, five o'clock, hoping to get. I just woke up, hoping to get some breakfast. Seven thirty, couldn't find anything open. All of, only found the coffee sh coffee shop that was like had a cappuccino with cake. That's all he had. Some nice cake. And now I'm gonna go to the bathroom and get organized and hit the road. Day one of uh, our track together, our trip together. I got myself a little uh, blessing for the road. It's uh, very uh, Buddhism. I'm not sure exactly what the significance of it. Very spiritual, very religious. Uh, everybody wears and uses, uses them over here. It's uh, their famous flags. So I've got one to put on my bike. So, you know, for good luck. So I'm gonna put that on my steering. On. We'll be blessed and we'll stay out of trouble. And this will help us. Bags on. I don't know how he's gonna get all his bags on this Sportster. Look how beat up it looks. I'm gonna avoid on it. These are water, water protection. Moshe actually is tailor made. Tailor made. <laughs> he did it himself. He did like if you've seen before already my India video from a few months ago. He sewed this whole thing, all this uh, leather work he does himself. Like the seat, the hand, the grips, everything with, with rubies, stones, whatever they're called, different gems. Really cool. Could you believe it? Look at this. Look at these tires. You, he goes off road with this. That guy's insane. I'm telling you. What is it called, Moshe? Is there any name for these flags? The Tibetan flags. Tibetan I... flags. What is it for? Good luck for part of a Buddhism uh, yeah, it's part ritual. Of the Buddhism includes all the sources of life yeah. the sun the earth the water the wind and the something each yeah. color represents one of those 
Okay. But we'll find out more. Last preparations are going to fill up. Where are we going today? Where's the first stop? We're going to, we're, our, the I, t I said our, we're going to Le, yes. but we're going to stop uh, overnight somewhere. Tonight we will stop at Sarchu. Sarchu? Yeah, it's the last, last point of Himachal Pradesh state. Okay. After that we will cross the river and then start the Ladakh Union territory. Ladakh Union Territory. So, Ladakh. By the way, that funny accent of his—it's—it's it's Israeli accent. So we know, Israeli. we know each, know each other from Israel. We grew up together pretty much. And as kids, actually, we were never friends. Never, like, never knew his personal life. So that's the funny accent you hear. <laughs> Still, it's funny. My daughters laugh at me all the time about the accent, and I think I'm okay. He lives. He lives in India already, thir almost 30 years, more than 30 years. Cold start. We're heading out. stop and show you. Look at that huge valley. With the stream coming through. Look at the mountains. It's just epic. It's just breath breathtaking. Twisty and slow. First gear, second gear, that's all. Some coffee or tea? Huh? Coffee or tea, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah.
stop for some refreshments. Chai, look, look at the scenery around us. Look at this. Look at the peaks over there. Look behind us, we just came from there. This is insane, insane. Guys, we just stopped for some. What what tea are we drinking? Lemon tea. No. Oh, lemon tea. Just, <laughs> just lemon tea. I'm like, wow, how exotic. Yeah, just lemon tea. <laughs> mm. But we went through like a ten and a half thousand uh, foot pass through a tunnel. It's crazy. The ascent was crazy slow turns like first second that's all you do and then now we're gonna head uh, down probably another pass later on we're on our way to Sauchu which is halfway midway till we get to Lei and hi hello one side the cliff one side the mountain the other side a big drop I'm looking to the side, not looking down. Now switch bikes. I'm with I'm with the beast, the Harley beast. I'll be riding this a little bit to feel the torque. Should be interesting. Oh, nice.
Look at this glacier. Let me tell you, we just came down that peak. And let me tell you, I was scared shitless. Literally, because I got on the Harley. My comfort zone was so, I was so out of my comfort zone, let's say that. Like where the horn is, how the brakes, how the brakes respond, the gearing, the clutching, all of a sudden so much power, so much sensitivity on the throttle. I was scared shitless. I will not, I'm not lying to you. I want my bike back. I want the slow chugging Himalayan. Man, I, I need to change my underwear. I shit my pants, literally. I'm gonna eat, we're gonna eat something now. We left, we literally left this morning. Everybody, like, like I told you, everybody's still sleeping. So we didn't have breakfast. So we stopped right over here and this is what we're gonna have this dish rice with lamb and curry. and stuff and curry and like yummy stuff and oh. oh. Damn, it's hot, it's spicy. Am I? No, but I'm not used to having spicy. Mm. Nothing like breakfast at 12,000 feet. This uh, background scenery, look behind me, was really good. I'm gonna rest a little bit and then continue. Got a few more hours to ride today. We're gonna head up a higher pass around uh, 16, 15,000 feet, pass through it, and then descend again. This time I'm, I'm hopping back on my bike. My comfort zone. <laughs> this is where we're heading now. You see these uh, curves? We're currently at 12,000 feet. And we're gonna hit that pass that's all the way over there. That's gonna be 15 and a half thousand feet. It's called Barchala. Barchala, Barchala. However you pronounce it. Barchala Pass. Once we hit the peak, pass, and then it's uh, a descent. Although it's, uh, you know, nature, you can go and pee anywhere you want. So. But this is, uh, they asked us to do it over here. So it's a little shack over here. And this is, uh, just our little, funny thing is I'm not flexible enough to be able to, to squat and shit. That's what I'll wash, wipe my ass with. Wash my ass with this water. <laughs> go from one uh, part of the state to another uh, jurisdiction they have to register the bike and everything so this police stop point they registered the bike and now we're continuing to the pass itself
almost we're almost at Barchala Peak the pass we just a beautiful spot just to breathe take in some air I can barely breathe we're about I would say 14,000 feet right now I'm out of breath just from talking
almost at the pass. I'll be honest with you, I was uh, I was scared somewhat. I was very yeah. Truth, truth be said, it's your fifth time. But I, I was, was scared also on the first, and I was all by myself. I was like I was very tense. I was very tense. You know, that's the truth. That's good. That's I'm fear honest. Safe. Fear takes care of you. Yeah. Uh, I can't really breathe because uh, not a lot of we are oxygen. Now around 14,000 square, uh, 14,000 feet. 14, yeah. And I'm having difficulty to breathe. Slightly dizzy, slightly. Yeah. Yeah. Talk too much. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I can't. I can't talk too much. <laughs> True. <laughs> Did you see the Harley? How it went through those? I'm soaked. I'm soaked completely and it's it's freezing water okay but that's the journey you know and now it's snowing rain it's non-existent over here it's just uh snow and sleet Eight hundred and fifty meters. From this point on, it's downhill, descending. two trucks.
about half an hour during our descent from the pass. Gotta stop for more tea. Like I said before, you always get the truth from me. I was really tense. I can feel my shoulders, you know, all stiff and I don't know, there's something mental about it that you know you're so high up as if like you're gonna fall from 17, uh, 15, 16,000 feet. No, you're not gonna fall. You're in control, but it's the fact that you're slightly dizzy because there's lack of oxygen, all these trucks and these, you know, tight spots that you have to go through. It, mentally, it's very uh, demanding, you know, fatigue. I'm sure I'm gonna sleep like a little baby today, no problem. So let's let's get my my lemon tea. Uh, the, the pass was over there. We dropped an elevation. Let me do a nice experiment. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll take a bottle of water that is completely empty. All it has is air inside. I'm just gonna close it, okay? And not open it till we get uh, down. I'll show you what happens once we get down. Remember, over here, pressure, the air pressure is very low. The minute we get down, you'll see what happens. pulled in, negotiated the price. We're gonna take each, each person his own like tent. Anyway, we're pulling in there or this. For me, it was an exciting day, man. Let me back up. Let me show you the little campsite that they have. Uh, the Tibetans built it up for the season so People can, you know, stop over here, midway to Leh. We did drop uh, elevation. I'm not sure exactly what. I'll check very soon on the map. Remember that bottle that I showed you? Look at that. Look, look how it shrank. And the reason is, is because the, the pressure, the air that's inside and it's locked with the pressure, the low pressure that is, by the pass where, where where I locked this bottle, this is low pressure inside. But because we descended, the surrounding pressure is much higher. So it's literally squeezing, squeezing the bottle. <laughs> and if we go even lower, it's going to be like completely. We do this a lot when we fly. We used to play around with this. It's pretty cool. Let me show you a uh, room over here. God. Here's my stuff. They gave us some tea. Usually it's for three. Uh, we, uh, each one of us took uh, the whole thing for himself. It's cheap. It's dirt cheap. Oh, <laughs> look at this. They got a. They even got a toilet. Oh my God. <laughs> With running water, I can't believe this. Oh my, obviously no toilet paper. You gotta wash with the bucket. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, let me get my shoes. Let me get all the water out of my shoes and freezing cold. Cause it's, I, it feels soaked, but just my socks are soaked. It seems like I'm gonna be riding with these wet book boots tomorrow as well. Let me warm up guys. So I switched, switched to dry socks and put my uh, little jacket, uh, down jacket over here, just trying to warm up soaked with my socks i mean it's not the shoes fault it was like water up to my knees no way no way around it and look what uh moshe is rocking <laughs> Man, i got him a holy shift a holy shift hat 
Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, if you want your own, go go to my website, holyshift.us, and grab yourself one. Pretty cool. The problem is, look, this dude has hair like he's 18 years old. Turn no, he's around. got some hair. <laughs> turn, turn around. Show them. Look at that. It doesn't, like, he can't pull it over his ears. And for me, it's like it fits all over my face. <laughs> it was a wicked day. I'm like, I'm, I'm laying down because I got to get blood to my head. I'm like oxygen deprived, a little bit dizzy. It was an awesome day. Give me a few hours. I'm going to, I'm going to try to cap up this day. Halfway to late. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be at late. Cool. We're at, we're at actually a high elevation now. I'm starting to have a little headache. And I actually do have uh, uh, pills, like for altitude sickness pills. Yeah. Oh, my God. It should be pretty awesome. Uh, once I catch my breath, I'll go out to show you a little bit. Good morning. I literally crashed yesterday. Last last scene you've seen, I just had such a headache, such a bad headache and fatigue. I just could not get out of bed. I popped uh, medication. I took uh, altitude sickness medication and what do you call it? Tylenol every four hours and I just couldn't get out of bed. I was dead, dead did I was like what the hell did I do to myself but it's part of the thing you know and I just woke up now oh, look at the scenery. Oh. delicious